Brains. Hi you guys, this is Iris. So if you're not in the mood to dress up this year for our Halloween, maybe you can just decorate your nails and still be in the spirit of the holiday. So what you're going to start doing is painting your nails any color that you want the zombie skin to be. I'm using these two colors which are like a dark purplish color and then a teal sort of color. Then you're going to start drawing your big zombie eyes. You can either use the brush directly or you can use a opened up bobby pin tip like so. And you're going to create larger than regular eyes because this is actually going to frame the eyes that you're going to draw in the middle. So the beauty of creating zombie looks is that they're very forgiving as far as being messy. Next thing that I did is I grabbed this color called bubblegum pink and I mixed it with the black and then I used a red polish over the top part of my little zombie's head and then I started to mix in the pink with the black and then just dotted it over the red and this is going to give like a sort of brain-like texture up on top. While that dries, I'm going to move on to creating the little mouths. You can make them any shape that you want and you can get creative as you go. Don't worry about messing up. Just try your best to make the little mouths. Then you can take any color that you want. I'm using this yellowish color to create the eyes in the center of the black dots that you created. Here I'm using white and then once you create your eyes and you can put the little pupils in the middle if you want or not I'm using red in this case for this little guy and then you can use a an art brush to start dabbing on the teeth or you can use the tip of a um, toothpick or a bobby pin this little guy is going to have bright pink eyes and just add details as you'd like. I'm using this red color to create sort of like a tongue in the middle of his opened up mouth. But you can add anything that you like. You can add blood, you can add veins, you can do bloodshot eyes. I mean, creativity should start flowing by the time you've got these steps down. So here you can see I just started adding pointy teeth and jagged teeth everywhere that I could. and. Um, just kind of winging it. This little guy got two little white eyes in the center and then I just started dabbing on some blood and gore onto my brain-eating zombies. So at the very top I just started to dab on a little bit more red just to make it more gory and once it dried I went ahead and applied a top coat to make sure that I seal it in and that I have a lot of um, shininess on my on my nails and my design. Be sure that again that you let this dry before you apply the top coat otherwise you'll smear your beautiful design. So that's it. I hope that you guys have been inspired to create zombie nails. Don't forget to check out my Halloween playlist linked below and here. Thank you for watching.